and Kamala Davy Harris I solemnly swear. For certain women, when Vice President Kamala Harris took the oath of office, she took women of color to a new level. Particularly African American women, it represents us finally having a seat at the table. It's really a moment of great pride for us. Vice President Harris has spoken proudly of her black, Caribbean, and also Indian heritage. Kalpana Saxena is of Indian descent. She's been teaching in New Orleans for decades and believes the 49th vice president is an inspiration during a time of division. It's the moment when every girl, no matter what your age, size, ethnicity, you just feel like you can do it. I think for us as women, it is an indication to us that um, the glass ceiling has literally been shattered. Yolanda Page is the vice president of academic affairs at Dillard University. She says it's remarkable that there was a time a woman like Rosa Parks could only sit in the back of the bus. And now a woman of color holds a seat second only to the president. I have an 11 year old daughter. And so it represents for her that she too one day can be like Kamala Harris. Four years ago, those red Make America Great Again hats seemed to be everywhere. For this inauguration, there's a different fashion trend. The hashtag Chucks and Pearls is all over social media. It's a nod to the vice president's fondness of pearls throughout the years and the Chuck Taylor sneakers she often wore on the campaign trail. The mayor of New Orleans wore that combination today, a show of support in a sisterhood of color. Tan Trung, Eyewitness News.